go ahead put a little bit of that juice on top a little bit on the bread a few peppers Now, to top this off, we'll put our hot jod and air on there. There we go. Hey everybody, Mike Chavez here once again. Thanks for stopping by. If you're new here, welcome. All right, today, go and do something different. Never had one of these. Seen them on TV, seen them on YouTube videos. This is gonna be a wet beef Italian sandwich or a sub. So I got a uh, chuck roast. We got it rubbed down. Uh, we're gonna put it on Char Griller Gravity 980. We're gonna smoke it a little bit. Bring the internal temp up to about 165 or better. Put it in a pan with some uh, pepperoncinis and some beef stock. And then we'll let it fall apart. Then we'll make our sandwiches up. We'll put them on the Blackstone over here. So the Blackstone's going over there. Hopefully, we, I think I got my heating issues figured out. And... Uh, We'll get these sandwiches made up. So y'all stick around. This should be really good, y'all. Let's do it. All right, so we got about a three pound chuck roast here. So what I'm gonna do, put some rub on here. So we'll get some Lee and Perrin's. What's this here sauce? Spread it around real good. Just for a binder. Alright, now today for a rub, something different. This is a Italian dressing mix. So this is dry Italian dressing mix. So it's got all kinds of Italian stuff in there. Got salt, onion, Bell pepper, carrots, all kinds of stuff. So, we'll get this rubbed down with this Italian dressing mix. get the gravity 980 fired up so we'll leave this on there for a while till we get it up to about past 165 we'll come back we'll dump some beef stock on here put some pepperoncinis on there and then we'll let it cook until it's done about 200 degrees or so all right then today we're gonna go in with some uh maple wood chunks a friend of mine at work gave me these myron mixing maple chunks they come out pretty good let me show them to you those are some pretty good chunks so we'll drop me about we don't need a whole lot of smoke on this so about three four chunks in the sh in the hopper fill the hopper with some uh Kingsford briquettes. All right. We'll go ahead and fire this thing up. All right, so we've got a power pack hooked up. So, power's on. Fan's on. 
we're going to set our temp to about 260. There we go. Close her down, let her preheat. Then we'll bring out the meat. All right, y'all, this is up to temp. Our roast is happy, happy. So let's put this on here. So we have the Italian dressing mix for a rub on here. Let's go ahead and put our temp probe on in. So we'll go on in. Let's do it like this. To the middle of the meat. Pull our slack out a bit. All right. Put her to bed. All right, everybody, my uh, heat probe is showing 167. <clears throat> so let's see what the thermal pin shows. Uh, 158. 155. That'll be fine, that'll be fine. So, what we're gonna do here, if I get this probe out of here. So I got my aluminum pan. Put our meat in there. Got some onions and Peppers, sweet reds and yellow peppers. Put that all around. Got a small 12 ounce jar of uh, pepperoncinis. I'm going to put the whole jar on here if I can get them out. Along with the juice, the brine, set those all around. There we go. Put some beef stock all around. There we go. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and put some seasoning on these veggies, some SPG, some Cosmos. Not a whole lot. Go easy on the seasoning there. So let's get some foil on here. Two layers. Nice and tight. Take our meat probe. Back inside there. Back to the middle of the meat. Close her down. So I'm gonna let that meat probe come up to about 200 degrees, maybe a little more, and then we'll go to the next step. All right, y'all. All right, y'all, we've reached temp over 200 degrees. So we're gonna take this on off of here. Take it in the house. All right then, so let's open this up, take a peek at it. Looking really good. Got some 
good juice in there. So I'm going to take this roast. Put it over here, let it cool a bit. Juice is looking good. All right, so we're going to go ahead slice up some of this meat for the sandwiches. And get it kind of thin. Alright, that should be enough for a couple sandwiches. Let me go ahead and taste this. Oh yeah. Delicious. Let me get my hotel pan out. Put this juice in there. And put this out on the Blackstone. Put these sandwiches together. All right, before we get these sandwiches together, I'm gonna make me a little side dish. Put me down some avocado oil. Got some zucchini. Put a little bit of the old SPG on there. Give it a toss. Get a single layer going. All right, the squash is ready. Take it off, put it in a bowl. Here we go. Scrape this off a little bit. So we got our bread warming up. Let this bread warm up a little bit. back over here to stay hot now go ahead and put some meat on here Melt some provolone on here. Give me a little jus on here. Let 
get my bread ready. So, go ahead, put a little bit of that juice on top, a little bit on the bread. peppers now to top this off we'll put our hot jod and air on there There we go. All right, y'all, here we go. Wet Italian beef sub. Got some zucchini to go along with it. Let's see what we got, shall we? Now this is going to be messy. Here we go. Peppers, beef, provolone cheese, garden hair. All right, y'all. Ready? Taste! Mmm. I need a minute. Mm -mm. Was he kidding? Mm. Good stuff, y'all. First time I ever tried this. Come out right good. So thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, leave a thumbs up. If you haven't done it yet, click surprise. Surprise, surprise. Click subscribe, and we'll see y'all next time. Bye, everybody.